Out the streets TV need to fucking change his name up. I'm talking about, you know who I'm talking about. He ain't in the streets. He ain't in the streets. You talking about spam bands, homie. You told these motherfuckers, don't spin in the Nissan. Don't spin in what everybody else is driving. Nah, spin in the bands. Bro, that's how I know you don't live behind no poverty line. That's how I know you don't live in the hood at night. But yeah, people have infinities and bands in the hood, bro, but it's so rare, and that's not what you spinning if you're really in the hood, because you know how hard it is gonna going be to hustle up another one of those, compared to if you just get a rental, report it stolen, and have to torture because they make that car. You see what I'm saying? That's the thing, like, that's why people use rentals for that shit. You know what I'm saying? You just say someone stole the shit, you'd be like, I just came out the store, motherfuckers, st my, the rental gone, or have someone else do that for you. Really, that's what I would do. I wouldn't even do that. I would have the rental in someone else's name and have them report it stolen. You see what I'm saying? And, and burn the fuck out of it, probably out of state. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. I, I'm not saying I ever did that before, let's be clear. <laughs> let's be clear. I never did nothing like that before. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just saying, this dude in the streets TV, don't ever take no advice from this motherfucker, period. Like, the fact that he even over there judging Billy Otto for basically shit that the government combined with being around clout, let's call it fame, because ain't nothing clouded about what Takashi did once he told. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I ain't like the motherfucker to begin with. I told motherfucker he gonna tell. <laughs> All the Hispanic dudes in my dorm was like, yo, he gonna keep it silent. Don't be saying that. No, why is she gonna tell? Sure enough. He said, oh, Matt Bundles, you, you was right. You were right, Matt Bundles. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Like, I knew he was gonna, I could tell, man. When you built like that, you could tell when they not. And that's how I know this about industry TV. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm too in the streets for this fucking industry, man. Really, like, when, when you can tell, like, and that's the thing, he don't even show his face, man. This is, like, really? You don't even show, you ain't even talking about no, like, I get why people like King Rob don't show their face. Like, Rob Kitchen, I get why he don't show his face on that screen. Okay? Yeah, I get why people like the woman I, 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 I sampled for fair use on Sly Thing the other day when talking about Kevin Simmons. I get why she wasn't showing her face. I understand that. But for what you talking about, homie, there's no reason you, you don't you can't do that. And if you really from in the streets, bro, you would know how to go about this like I do without snitching on shit, bro. You would know how to do it. You could either you just wait till it's already figured out by other people. And then you just regurgitate what they said and put your take on it. And you do so very carefully. Or you just say what the situation was and you do as best as you can to avoid pointing fingers. You see what I'm saying? Be like, look, like for example, when Wiz died, I still won't say Kodak did that. Wiz had a lot of shit going on. Now, it could, I mean, it could have been anybody, bro. So, so that's, that's the thing is like, for doing them in the streets TV reloaded that probably never spun on nothing in his life talking about, I'd spin in a band before I rental me some rogue. Bro, you ain't never spin shit in your life. Let's be clear. Change your name to like, used to be in the streets TV or never was in the streets TV or fucking <laughs> like, you, you, you should, you should just been like, Made it out the street, out the streets TV should be your fucking name, bro. Because you obviously, if you got a Benz, bro, you ain't in the streets. <laughs> you made it out. Come on now. Stop playing. You might not have never been in them shits to begin with, bro. You can look at them, at the scars I got and the fucking, the, the battle wounds and shit. You know I've been, you can see just where I do these videos that I'm in the streets, homie. I'm in the fucking streets. I've been in the streets for the past like 13 years almost, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like over that, actually almost almost the past, yeah, almost the past like 15 years. 
I got tenure in the streets, in multiple streets, in multiple hoods, in multiple states. So it's like, to me, that should just aggravate me. That's an easy way to set a fire up in me because not only is you faking, the, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers be faking and frauding, putting on for the cameras. Not only is you doing that, and that's no disrespect to Hassan, I just thought that shit was funny, but that other dude repeated it. But you giving the youngins bad advice. God forbid any kid go and see that. And he able to get his hands on some shit like that. That's good. And he get it in a color like red. You know, like a red band. Let's say you get an older, like, but higher end, like, like, old, like, um, he got, like, the bands, but, uh, what was that fucking fly one? They had that one that was a drop top. I forget what the drop top was. But you get, like, a drop top bands, maybe put some rims on it, paint the shit red, or you get, like, a bands truck. If you if you get one of them G-Wagons in the hood, okay, because people have been, they don't have them G-Wagons in the hood, let me tell you. I've never seen it. I mean, personally. Maybe, maybe one time, but I don't even think that car was from the hood. Like, I think that might be one. Like, we get out here with, the other day I saw a Jaguar X220J or what, a XJ220 from the 80s. The shit that looked like a Lambo. It looked kind of like the NSX, the old one. That shit was pulling to the street. That shit pulled right past my house. And most people were looking at me, so they missed it. Because it wasn't the gold one. It was the dark blue color. You know what I'm saying? They only had, I think, two or three colorways for that bitch. And she was a very limited run car. And I think I might be one of the only people except who was behind it who, knew, who noticed it and knew what it was. So it's like, we get cars like that coming through here because I'm right next to a highway. Ain't nobody out here riding around in that. At best, they riding around in some shit like an Escalade older one with some nice rims and some work done on it. Like, it's crazy, bro. Like, like you talking about, I'm in the streets, but you got a bands, bro, and you telling people to spin in that shit. Fuck out of here, bro. Don't ever fucking, I swear to God, if you maybe come back and do another one of these, bro, you're not going to like it.